Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will determine the missing numbers on a number line. Let's write the numbers that are missing on the number line. We have 10, 12, blank, 16, blank, 20, 22, and blank. We need to figure out what number goes here, here, and here. So now the first step is we need to locate two numbers that are right next to each other. 12 and 16 we can't do because we have a question mark or a missing number between them. We notice that 10 and 12 are located next to each other and 20 and 22 are also located right next to each other on this number line. So let's think how far apart is 10 and 12. Let's go ahead and put 10 on our heads and count up and stop at 12. Ready? 10 on your head. 11, 12. We notice that from 10 to 12, we need to add two. Let's check from 20 to 22. Remember, 20 on your head. 21, 22. We notice that we added two again. That means that the pattern for this number line is going to be add two each time. And now that we know that the pattern for this number line is add two, we can go ahead and figure out this missing number by adding two more to 12. Let's add 12 plus two, 13, 14. 12 plus two more is 14. So we know that this missing number has to be 14. And 14 plus two is 16. Now let's add two to 16. 16, 17, 18. This missing number is 18, and we know that 18 plus two is 20. Now let's go ahead and jump all the way to 22. Let's add two more because that's the pattern for this number line. 22 plus two is 24. The pattern for this specific number line is add two. And the pattern does not change. Let's write the numbers that are missing on the number line. We have this missing number, here and here and here and at the very end. Let's start by locating two numbers right next to each other. We notice that the only numbers right next to each other are the 42 and the 49. Now let's go ahead and figure out how far apart 42 is from 49. Let's go ahead and put 42 on our heads and count up until we get to 49. Ready? 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. That was seven fingers. We notice that the pattern for this number line is add seven, which means that now we can figure out this number by simply adding seven to 49. Let's add seven to 49. 49 on our heads, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 49 plus seven is 56. Now let's go here to this 14. Let's go ahead and add the pattern, which is add seven. We know that 14 plus seven more equals 21. And now we can add seven more to 21. We know that 20 plus seven is 27, plus this one would give us 28. And 28 plus seven more would be eight and seven is 15. Carry our one, so we have 35. 35 plus seven more equals 42. Now here is where it can be a little bit tricky. We can't do 14 plus seven going to the left because this number has to be smaller. So we are going to go ahead and subtract seven. 14 take away seven is seven. But in reality, we're going this way, which means this is also going from seven plus seven is 14. So the pattern for this number line is add seven. Let's write the numbers that are missing on this number line. We have this missing number, this one, and this one. Let's locate two numbers that are right next to each other on this number line. We notice that the 15 and the 18 are right next to each other here on this number line. Let's think. How far apart is 15 from 18? Let's put 15 on our heads and count up to 18. Ready? 16, 17, 18. We added three. That means that the pattern for this number line is plus three. Now let's go here to this six to figure out this missing number. Six plus three, which is the pattern, gives us six, seven, eight, nine. So this missing number is nine. That means we must add three more to nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 
and we know that 12 plus three more would be 15. Now we have to figure out what number would go before the six. If we add three, we would have nine here. We can't have nine, six, nine. That means this number has to be smaller. So we would simply subtract three to go back. Six take away three is three. But really we're going from three to six, which means we're adding three. Each time on this number line, we would add three. So the pattern is add three. Now you try. Go ahead and pause the screen so you can work out one through four using the steps that we practiced before. <laughs>